Let's get right to South Africa. You see the black car carrying Mandela's coffin right there. It's going from Johannesburg to Pretoria. It's draped with the South African flag. ABC's Alex Marquardt is there in Johannesburg right now. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, George. South Africa is a country deep in mourning this morning. Flags are flying at half staff all across the country as South Africans from all walks of life come together to remember the man they called Tata Madiba, the father of the nation. It was just before midnight that South African President Jacob Zuma announced to the nation and to the world that Nelson Mandela had died. This is the moment of our deepest sorrow. Our nation has lost its greatest son. Tributes quickly poured in from around the world, including from President Barack Obama. We've lost one of the most influential, courageous, and profoundly good human beings that any of us will share time with on this earth. This photo shows his flag-draped coffin being taken from the home in preparation for a state funeral. This morning, large crowds gathered outside Mandela's house and around the country, singing and dancing, joyfully celebrating the life of a man who gave so many hope and freedom. He allowed us to, to come together as a nation and to unite as different races and to love with one another. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. South Africa's first black president was surrounded by much of his family when he passed away. His grandson today said, I am strengthened by the knowledge that he is now finally resting. And this morning we're getting new details about the funeral arrangements. There will first be a big public memorial service held in a soccer stadium. Then Mandela will lie in state for three days in the capital of Pretoria before being taken back to his ancestral village of Kunu for burial.